the 1890s, William Kennedy Dickinson is working side by side with the great inventor Thomas Edison, a man of great stature and fame in the United States after his work with inventions, light bulbs, film, you name it, Edison did it. December 1894, Dickinson and Edison are arguing over their collaborative invention of film, and whether or not Dickinson should be allowed to make the films he wants to make. Angered, Dickinson storms out of the room. Joining up with his contemporaries, Herman Kasler and Henry Marvin, Dickinson will found the American Mutoscope Company to create short films that rival the kinetoscopes that Edison is producing. 1896, the Biograph Projector is released, blowing Edison's vitascope out of the water. Quick to adapt, Dickinson will swiftly begin producing films to work on this new projector to become a film giant. Flash forward to January 1910. The newly named Biograph Company's best director, D.W. Griffith, is scouting out the West Coast, particularly California due to its moderate climate and distance from Edison, a quite unfriendly man. Griffith will set up a small studio where the Los Angeles Convention Center will eventually stand. But, after hearing rumors of a friendly place a little north with a nice floral area, Griffith will visit and fall in love with a place known as Hollywood. Biograph will produce the first film ever to be made in this land, called In Old California. Griffith will then travel back to New York to tell all the other aspiring filmmakers about this promised land of Hollywood, thus inspiring a mass exodus of the entire film industry to Hollywood, California.